Hey guys, I'm back. So today I'm going to be talking about this LED cube again. I know I made a general overview on a video about this. But today I'm going to be talking about actually how you program a bare AT Mega. Because normally on our Arduino, you just plug it into the USB and it shows up, right? On this one, it's a little different. You see, I here I have a little programming header. It's meant to be used with one of these guys, right? One of these guys is a little FTDI, FTDI adapter that sparks one. Whatever. It's a little FTDI adapter that works on cells. And if it focuses, it's very small. You know, just got a female header, and I've hot glued on a male header just so I can easily, you know, plug it in right to a female header or to a breadboard. But I'm going to be telling you how to use one of them with the uh, 328. So basically, what you do is first you got to get a, a little six pin header. And you have to solder your 328 down onto a prototype board or onto a breadboard or what have you, right? So here's a simplified schematic. This is every single pin that you're going to need to do to do the bare minimum connections. So okay, so you, you don't need more than the bare minimum. I, I'm not sure what you would use that would require more. Well, on the AT Mega 328, we have pin one here, right? That's on the left side, top left, right there. Pin one is the reset pin. So you connect that through a 10K to VCC and also through a 0.1 microfarad to the first pin of the FTDI which is going to be labeled DTR. You can see where it says green, it's going to say all the way on the left. If I can get this camera to focus, which I can All the way right there is going to say DTR, right? GRN DTR, that's the left pin. That's the auto reset pin. You want to connect that pin through a 0.1 microfarad capacitor to pin one on the Arduino, and that's this is exactly the capacitor you see here. It's uh, 0.1 microfarads. It's 100 nanofarads, which is 104. So I've connected this left pin through this 104 to pin one on the reset. Next, you're going to want to do pin two. Pin two on the Arduino. On the Arduino, that's RX. Okay digital pin zero pin two you're going to connect pin through two all the way to wait no, that's wrong pin two goes to the transmit unless i wrote that wrong we are having some technical difficulties okay pin two is going to be rx right pin two on the arduino is rx you want to connect it to the pin the third pin on this thing because that's tx you connect tx to rx okay pretty simple. So as you can see here, that's this top jumper wire here. It's connecting pin 3 on this one to pin 2 on the Arduino. Because pin 3 on this one, holding it like this, so the green is on the left and the black is on the right, is transmit. And on the Arduino, pin 2 is receive. And you want the transmit to go into the receive. So then you would connect pin 2 on this, the second one, um, up to pin 3 on the Arduino because you're connecting the Arduino's transmit to the USB's receive so that way they can talk to each other easily enough. Then your fourth pin you have 5 volts right so on this thing you can either connect your fourth pin to you don't have to connect it if you have a separate power supply for your circuit or if you want to supply your circuit with power you connect the fourth pin up to VCC and there's a jumper on the back that selects 3.3 .3 or 5 volts then you ignore the CTS pin and you connect the ground to your circuits ground and you're done all you gotta do then is plug in your adapter make sure it's fitting the right way plug in the USB cable and you're off programming your Arduino that's it so let me just uh, go through the pin connections again you wanna connect from left to right left being gr the green and right being the black it's labeled with GRN BLK the leftmost pin you wanna connect DTR through a 0.1 microfarad capacitor to the reset pin which is pin 1 Pin 2 is the RX pin. You want to connect RX directly to to the um, pin 3 of the uh, AT Mega 328, which is digital pin 1, because that's connecting the RX of the USB to the transmitter on, on the um, 
on the Arduino. You want to connect pin 3 on the Arduino, which is digital pin 1. That's transmit pin. You want to connect that to the second pin on this thing, because that's a receive pin. You want to connect the fourth pin if you would like this to power your circuit. If you wouldn't, don't connect the fourth pin. If you would like this to power your circuit, connect the fourth pin to your circuit's VCC. Ignore the CTS pin, which is the fifth pin. The sixth pin is ground. You connect that to your circuit's ground, and you're all done. That's it. That's exactly how this works. It's exceedingly simple, and no need to use anything else. This thing is like, I don't know how, it's pretty cheap. It's like 10 bucks, maybe, and you just program it like that. So have fun programming using the uh, FTDI adapters. Oh, no, this also works with the FTDI cables.